I'm so stunning, don't you agree? Anyways, hi there! This is like my seventh try. I don't know what's happening today. Hello there. How are you guys? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Sorry for being so monotone. I'm really tired from the gym and from life and from A-levels and from everything. Anyways, anyways, if you couldn't tell from the title of the video, this video is about creating artist studies and analysis. Analysis. Yep, that's what, I think that's the word. I hope that's the word. So, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, I like things that get straight to the point. Anyways, this is this part, this tiny part that I hope is marked by YouTube. This is for people who did not have the, this just this tiny part, just like this beginning part. If you if you have your artist, go to the next part. But if you don't. Stay here, stay here for the first part. So the first part is about finding your artist. Let's say you don't have your artist, you just don't know where to look, you don't know, you do not know how to look for artists, you don't know what, you don't know what to do, you just don't know what to do, what to do, okay? I'm gonna hope by now that you've reached a theme in your project, because artists are like a bit halfway through, so let's say your theme is something like depression okay search up depression depression art on pinterest will get you a lot of nice things depression paintings depression artists depression <laughs> artists that this this sentence artists that illustrate depression you can also search everything that I just said on something that rhymes with A and I also really helpful helped me out a few times you can also search on Google also helpful there's also a few websites if you search on Google artists by theme you can some of them are paid don't go don't go to those those are stupid so look at the other websites artists by theme they'll list out artists for each theme for anatomy this this many artists for for vegetation this for architecture this for for happiness for depression for sadness for anxiety for for genders for for everything for whatever theme there is they'll give they'll they'll give you artists that is how you find your artists now let's say you want to narrow things down to one particular artist. Choose one that just speaks to you, you know? Like you get you get that vibe, that feel, like that is the one, you know, that is, yep, mm -hmm, you know, that's the one. Choose that one. If you don't get that feeling, uh, uh, okay, if you don't get that feeling, go with whatever is best. And you always have your teacher to advise you. Yeah, you always will have your teacher to advise you. Anyways, moving on to the next part of the video. So, the reason I just sat over here is I'm going to be displaying a very nice A-level quality, A-level A -level quality artist analysis slash study. So, first thing you First things first, this artist is called Christo, Christo and Jean Claude. So this artist my teacher chose for the entire class. It's like the first artist that we all did. She just chose it so it shows that we all had somewhat of a similar starting point. I'm not gonna go too much into that. I'm gonna go into how I did all of this. Okay. So first thing I did first thing I did, I remember before doing anything else on the page, was I created the study. The study that I'm hopefully I'm going to zoom in on the thing, okay? So this study, right? I made it. 
the re and I did it with oil pastels because it just made most sense to me because it looks like it was done by oil pa pastels even though it might have not been but I just did it with oil pastels because why not experimentation you know different mediums I did that that that's, that was the first step this step I always do it I prefer doing it first because it sort of gives you the feel of the artists how they how they do their strokes on the painting or how their compositions are or the colors that they use any challenges that you faced what you liked these are all thoughts that you should write down okay next up that was the first that was the second step that was that was very that was like we're already two-thirds way done third step this is sort of a more complicated step okay you're going to analyze that was the study that we just talked about the this now we're going to analyze so in an analysis so for the analysis part my teacher always does this for us and I didn't I didn't do this back in my IGCSEs but I think it would have really helped get me a few more marks you for the analysis you want to consider the seven elements of art and the principles of design let's start with the seven elements of art okay for Christo and Jean-Claude I chose the pink, the island surrounded by the pink, and I analyzed the features of it that relate to the principles of, sorry, the, the, what is the, no, the elements of art, right, yeah. So I analyzed the lines, the shapes, the colors, I'm not sure if you can see it, hold on, I'm gonna interrupt your view, let's see. There's, I think, texture. Texture is there. If I open this up, can I open this up? I swear I was able to open this up. I can swear. Okay. So, never mind. I didn't really do much elements of art because I, in A level, me personally, in A level, I prefer to do principles of design like shape harmony or contrast texture emphasis and attention oh, all right. repetition then there's other stuff that you can take into account balance composition alignment variety whatever this is this is about a, on a higher level if you can do this do it but first start with the elements of art the seven elements of art analyze each one related to your artist choose one piece from your artist okay choose one piece from your artist that you really like and analyze it shape i see he, that they use this shape this this way and this shape intersects with that shape color he uses a really cool color scheme. He uses a really warm color scheme. Blah, blah, blah. Lines. Some of their lines are really blurred. Some of them are really strong and rigid. Analyze stuff like that, okay? And just write things down. Write, write them down. They, they, they like words. The examiners like words. Now, after you've done the elements of art, if you can go even further and do the principles of design, good for you. Good for you. Do that. Principles of design, let's see. For example, this George Bellows painting that I just recently did. I'm gonna put it here. One of, I remember one of the analyses, analyses that I did was for his composition. In a lot of his pieces, his composition is very triangular, as I would hopefully be able to point out in the video. It's very triangular. So in my response, I made my 
composition triangular. And I meant, and I also mentioned that that in the analysis, George Bellows uses extremely triangular compositions in most of his paintings, and I showed evidence of that. And then later in my response, I used a triangular composition. So think like that, okay? Think like that. Look at, search up online elements of art, principles of design, and try try your best to analyze everything, okay? Yap, yap, yap. It's really good to yap, okay? That's pretty much it for the analysis, okay? Next step, next step, the next step. I usually, I do this for all of my artists. I don't know if other people do it, but I'll go like, how this relates to my idea. I think it's also there on this, somewhere here. How this relates to my idea. I'll explain the idea before, just before that, I will explain the idea of the artist, what they're trying to communicate through their art, which is also there I can see, yes, somewhere here actually. I'll explain what they're trying to communicate through their art, okay? What they're trying to say, what their message is, what's the conceptual part of their art. Is it, is it because, are they trying, for Christian Jean-Claude, they were trying to show the impermanent, impermanence? How life is not permanent. How things go by quickly. That's, what, that's the message that they were trying to illustrate through their art. So I was like, how this relates to my idea. I'm gonna blur that out because I don't want people to know my idea because you, know, you guys are not supposed to. So then I explained how it relates to my idea. And yeah, th this part I always do. I don't know if other people do it, but I always do it for all of my other artists. So that's pretty much it, I think. For the artist response, you're kind of on your own, to be honest. The best thing that I can tell you to do is copy the artist's style. Like, I'm gonna, okay, I'll show you an example. I'll show you an example. George Bellows, I think my response was very George Bellowy. y So, George Bellows, this is his piece. I'm gonna put it here. I, I, I didn't make, I made a study, yeah, I made a study, and then I made the analysis, and then I created a piece from what I learned, but this piece, it was, it had parts of me in it, and it, ha it had parts of other, other sections of my project, so this response I'm gonna put up here is actually a collaboration between Christian Jean Claude and George Bellows. So that was my response. The Christian Jean Claude part is the drapery on the figure, and the George Bellows part is every single other part in the painting. Yeah. So. That's the best way I could explain that to you. Just copy the style of the artist, but do it in your own way. Do it with your own primary resources that you took. Take pictures of yourself, your family members, your friends, of things around you, and then inco incorporate your ideas into the response. And ta-da, you got a response. So that is pretty much it about artists, studies and analysis, and a little bit of a sprinkle of a response. Okay, so it's not really that complicated. Some people do make it much more complicated than it needs to be. And it's, it is a really big part of your project. like. It's literally there in the assessment objectives, like artist studies. That I don't know what it, what it exactly is. I'm gonna put it here. A O two, I think. 
No, AO3 for Cambridge. AO3 for Cambridge. Yeah. So, yeah. If you... That was pretty much it. That's the process that I go through for all of my artists. Sometimes, sometimes, this is just a bonus tip. Hashtag bonus tip. Sometimes you do not need to create a study. Sometimes you don't need to. Maybe you don't have the time. Maybe you're already familiar with the style of the artist. Like you've done things similar to the artist before. So you don't need to make a study. You can just go straight to the analysis, which is very important, and then start creating your response. That was the bonus tip, that's it, yeah. It's not that complicated. Do not make it complicated. It's a very straightforward, strategic way that I approach it, and I think many other people approach it this way as well. And if you guys have any questions, comments, I usually respond. I usually respond. Do you guys like my new lighting, by the way? You know, no overhead lights this time. Just like lamps and shit, okay? Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, did you, do you guys like the painting? I don't, know if, I don't know if it showed, but that was my best best attempt at showing you there's a bunch of other paintings that i do not want to show you sadly because i'm a very secretive person anyways thank you guys so much for watching i will be seeing you on the next video that i make whatever it shall be thank you guys so much good luck with your anything good luck with life good luck with everything and goodbye Bye. Okay, bye.